There's uh, a lot of bots that have been uh, created recently on Facebook and they're, most of them are great. And I'm going to talk about a few of them, uh, just a few, otherwise the video would be really too long because there's really a lot and uh, new ones keep being created every day. So that's enough for an introduction, right? Let's go right into the subject right now. The first bot I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be presenting you, is this uh, Alt Dictionary Bot 2193. Uh, it's a bot that makes up words and their definition. That's as simple as that, but it's quite brilliant. For example, the latest one, six minutes ago, Uhuhada. Quantum verb, quantum verb, that's pretty good. Trinidad and Tobago Creole. Definition, a kind of meaningful sufferer that can feel. Mm, yeah, so uh, there's this one that I really like. Uh, look phone, adjective, future San Vincent and the Grenadines, quasi language. Uh, sh fuck off. Circa 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> 54 CE definition sunshine watchdog that's that's pretty fucking good let's go to the next bot a bot that mix up guns uh, using random parts of uh, pre-existing guns uh, th I like this one looks like from uh, one of these cyberpunk video games uh, from the 90s uh, and, uh, most most of them look like guns from like cheap ass uh, old video games <laughs> This one is funny. This one, again, uh, is pretty obvious. It's a bot that posts abstract art and uh, with, a, with a title, you know, and uh, it's really abstract. Like, it's uh, always like just a bunch of squares. So, uh, but this one like lo looks kind of nice, you know, and uh, this one is pretty good. It looks like an album cover from one of these indie bands. Uh, I, I can see absolutely see uh, this being used as a, a, the cover for an album. Uh, this one looks like a texture from Doom. And uh, oh, this one is pretty nice also. Pond the False Edward. <laughs> yeah, so uh, not one of the best, but uh, still pretty good. I like this one. This one actually looks really nice. Uh, let's go to the next one. So the next one is Bork Bot 3000. And this one is really, really simple. It's not really a bot, but it posts random pictures of dogs. So uh, they're pretty good pictures. And you know, it's always good to have pages that posts pictures of dogs in your timeline. Great idea, a handful of Minecraft frozen flesh, would you buy? I'd buy that for a dollar? Great idea. Moldy Indians, would you buy? Crazy idea. A box of cream filled meth, would you buy? <laughs> would you Would you buy? This one is incredible. This one is like, uh, there's a lot of people who think that it's not a bot, but actually a human posting because the creations are so good. So I don't know if it's like, if we're all being bamboozled, like, with the Mechanical Turk, or uh, if it's just a really well-programmed uh, bot, but it's in, it's amazing. John Cena, does he exist? No one has ever seen him after all, so maybe he doesn't exist. Australia has vanished, finally. We are, uh, we are freed from <laughs> Australia. SpongeBob. Gone. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm complaining about USA. <laughs> Doctor tired of sick people. There's just so many great headlines created daily by this bot. Uh, this is one that is really worth following and liking. It, it is absolutely worth it. A uh, really great bot. Let's go to the next one. The next one is Venn Diagram Bot 1111. Plover, burn, content. <laughs> they, content. How do I tag myself? Bottom text. Cuddly, rough, stepsister. I have seen that movie. I have seen it. I remember. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Create your perfect morning and we will give you a city to have that one in. Makes sense. Uh, is your cellmate sex at you? 
So, sounds like something from your grammar sucks or one of these Jack's Films videos where he reads weird comments. Um, oh, this one works totally. Your breakfast preferences will reveal which eyeliner you really are. This one is nothing post bat zero 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 zero. It posts nothing. So uh, this one is, doesn't have bot in the name. I believe this page is quite old. Very close to solid pink. <laughs> Looks like new car. <laughs> the 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 what the really uh, the really funny thing about this one is just the color names that always make me laugh. Pancho. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it's a bot that posts random colors or gradients. So there's this guy who has a Chinese name, or maybe Japanese. Uh, it's Chinese. It's from China. And uh, I am... <laughs> I can't stand Graham Thrones fast. And uh, it's, uh, it's cut for some reason. Oh, no, it's not. Next! Uh, Chemal, 61, lawyer uh, in Turkey. I make good money for those looking for a real conservative. Uh, yeah, sure. Valentine, Valentine, Belgium. Show me your dick and I'll give you an N-word pass. That's a great deal. That's really... I'm into that. However, I did not. Uh, Luna, not a rapper. <laughs> I like it fast. So we meet at the re Mexican restaurant downtown. Fuck you, Paige! Follower of the way. The way. Do you know the way? Do you do you know the way? Oh, someone made the same fucking joke. Come on, Josh. Let me, let me, this is my video. Let me have some fun time. Landscapes made in Microsoft Paint. And uh, it's like, no, it's like No Man's Sky, but better. I suppose that if you're like a, a webcomic artist, you could use some of those as a background for your uh, webcomic. I don't know. I, I don't know the license. Oh, this moon looks like a big fat watermelon. Uh, let's go to the next. Oh, oh, come on. Second time this happens to me in like five minutes. Come on, let, please let me have this. <sighs> People have, are so fucking rude nowadays. Shut up. Anyway, um, Bezier post bot zero 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 zero. It's one of the first uh, bots I uh, subscribed to after she post bot five thousand. Of course, uh, I've had this one in my um, you know dashboard for a long time, and basically it posts uh, shapes that. Random shapes with random colors. Sometimes they look like birds, or this one looks like a dog. It's, uh, you know, if you have periidolia, it's a really great uh, place to go because you will be able to see a lot of things. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This one is really great. It's Floor Plan Boat 2521. It posts, guess what? Floor plans. Yes, uh, it's pretty pretty good <laughs> lost room oh obviously i gotta love this one and someone made the thing like thank you uh vladimir and uh bot making room so two rooms don't have doors so you have to uh go by the the ceiling i guess i don't know but uh you know uh this one uh, IDF Explosive Containment Room. Retarded Room. Oh, so that's my room. Dan Boru Serer's Room. Room where you can't move. Nice, nice, nice. I love these plants. I love these names. Uh, oh, this one has kind of... <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's an interesting floor plan. Another one chosen at random. Room that makes you say, this is a nice room. Necrophilia room and thickness of thighness room. <laughs> this uh, house has two doors you gotta get out to get into thickness of thighness room. I'm sure it's worth it. Uh, the finest hallway of Norway. <laughs> this is pretty great. 
uh, an actual room for once with four doors. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, go to the next one. Uh, so there's Street View Bot 5000 uh, version 2. I don't remember exactly version 1, but I remember at some point uh, the bot started posting really weird images that didn't look like streets, but more like forests and shit, and they were all located in Antarctica. I don't know if that was a bug or some kind of SCP Night Vale bullshit, but it's been fixed apparently, and uh, now it just posts random screenshots from Google Street View. So uh, if you have uh, Vanderlust, but never know where to go, you can use Street View Bot 5000 version 2.0 to indicate, or you know, you take a, uh, a post at random and you, I'm gonna go there. You know, like, like, that, uh, like that tweet, uh, uh, stop paying for cable and uh, buy yourself some plane tickets instead. Uh, go seeing what you watch. Uh, go live there. And some person asked, what plane goes to Bikini Bottom? And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them, actually, uh, if there's an issue, that's usually where they end up. Anyway, this one looks pretty chill. Nice road in the countryside. Where is it? Spain. It feels very European. That's why it's homely for me, I guess. This one is kind of nice. Uh, South Africa. Why not? Oh, little house. That, depending on the lighting and the angle, that could be like a really creepy hangar uh, for a like zombie movie or something. Like I can feel like with a with a proper lighting and shit, um, that can that 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 house can look like really really creepy. Or it could be like some nice house in a suburb uh, TV show. You know, it's very really versatile. Uh, I can I can feel a really a lot of versatility coming from that picture, and it's from uh, wow wow a lot of letters uh, Ukraine. Yeah yeah it has that it has that Half-Life Two vibe when you never know when when you're safe and when you're not. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of theories. Uh, all about where Half-Life 2 takes place, because it's never really explained in the game, and uh, most theories place uh, the action of Half-Life 2 in Ukraine, and I, I like those theories the most, so uh, this feels really Half-Life 2 to me. It could be a nice house with some supplies in, in them, like bullets and medkits, or it could be filled with combined, uh, combined soldiers ready to attack you and shit. So, uh, perfect, perfect, let's go to the next bot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Uh, this is Running on Empty Food Review. I <sighs> love this guy. Uh, double pepperoni, right pineapple, finished off with left bones. You, you would eat that, you fucker. Look at it. Look at the pizza. Look. You would, eat, you would eat that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I know you. Uh, double chocolate chip cookies with addition of left avocado. Oh, that's so stoner. That's so munchies. Let's go to the next bot. Um, perhaps bot 5000, I love this one. You know, it's one of these perhaps images with a really, really low resolution. Uh, and uh, I don't know I don't know why exactly, but it, that is exactly my kind of meme. This is exactly my kind of humor. It's a really pixelated, low res JPEG with a shitty, perhaps uh, as bottom text, this is the shit that makes me laugh the most. Like, uh, I was already pretty retarded, and then the memes and the shit posting uh, have made me even more retarded. So this is the only shit I really love too nowadays. Next, another of my favorites, uh, SmileyBot2305 posts randomly generated emojis made by a bot, and it's pretty fucking funny. Pig. Unamused, face with eyes and cat nose, 
crown and finger covering lips. He doesn't look unamused, but I'll take your word for it, smiley bot. Cat sideways grinning face with paintbrush, gavel and steam blowing from nose. Sure. Ghost slightly smiling angry face with monkey hands covering ears. That could be a meme. I can see this happening. And uh, koala expressionless face with pleading eyes and crown and juggling balls. That looks like a Pokemon. That could be a, uh, one of these new generation's Pokemon. Actually, most of them could be. Vampire grinning with star and bandage. That looks like a, one of these anime villains. And a pig robot face with carrots, massage horns, and former hat. I, I, I dig most of them. Sometimes they're really, really funny. So out of all the art bots, this is my favorite one. And it's not even really an art bot uh, at its core. It's more like the Perlin feel, which is kind of weird math um, thing. I wouldn't really be able to explain what's a Perlin field and how it works. I know it has to do with math and maybe physics, uh, but you know, it uses the Perlin field to make these pictures that are often like look really good and nice, or at least somehow, uh, or at least somewhat nice. And uh, also it gives a name, which in my opinion is a really, really nice touch and adds to the quality of the bot a lot. Uh, and uh, yeah, the policies he supports. That sounds like a real uh, art name for a painting or something like that. And that really looks kind of good. This is a great bot. Maybe it's my favorite of them all. This one could be like an album cover from a, for a dubstep uh, thing. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of really nice art. Like sometimes it doesn't look really good. Like this one looks kind of fucked, but uh, they look, a lot of them, oh, this one is really minimalistic. It's nice. Uh, a lot of them look like one of these um, fucking, uh, what's the fucking name? The wallpapers for PC that uh, all of us downloaded at the beginning of the internet all at, like at the beginning of the internet like i'm talking 20 years ago uh we we downloaded a lot of wallpapers that looked exactly like this like uh 1999 internet was filled with things that look exactly like this and we downloaded and we, it took like for an image like this it took like 13 minutes to download it uh, but it was worth it because it looked hella rad sure post bot 2300 posts of course randomly generated shirts good a little slow but yeah you uh, guessed right I'm not single, I have a domestic canary. This one is kind of relatable. Um, send gloves. Yeah, I like this one. Let's uh, uh, go. Every now and then, I like a bit of rockabilly. And then there's a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. I got my fluids from an energetic Ukrainian person. I call them Heritage. Good slogan like you know it really looks and sounds like genuinely like these uh shirts that you that you find on uh, uh chinese uh shops like in china just, oh i <laughs> like that reference gonna suspend over your raincoat maybe maybe dumb and raise <laughs> this is pretty good this is pretty fucking good uh i almost would buy it uh, but um, yeah, the best ones, like the ones who receive uh, a certain amount of likes or uh, uh, a lot of popular uh, uh, praise, uh, get made into actual shirt via Redbubble. Uh, so I'm just gonna get, get give a real quick look. Uh, there's one that is really, really great. I almost bought it. Uh, it says, come on! Fucking Redbubble is slow as shit as usual. 
um, it says I'm either eating beans, about to eat beans, or thinking about eating beans. And I, I, I kind of relate to that. I kind of relate to that. Sensorbot 1111 is the next, and it puts red rectangles to sensor random images uh, in random places. And uh, sometimes it's uh, really funny. Like, yeah, like for example, this one, uh, that, that really works. You can imagine that uh, super uh, buff Jesus has a giant dong. Uh, I'm sure that Mac from his listening in Philadelphia would absolutely love this a muscular Jesus with a fat cock. Uh, that's perfect for him. Uh, what else? <laughs> Every time I see a picture of Jeb, it makes me laugh, no matter what the picture is. It's just... His face is just funny. Uh, hmm, yeah, yeah, what is he eating? Redacted. Data expunged. Uh, so, Captain Morgan Spiced Rum, boom! Two parts Captain Morgan Spiced Rum, coherent so far. Three parts Jose Cuervo Tequila, one part coffee flavored liqueur, two parts white wine, <laughs> holy shit, that's a strong cocktail. Two parts coffee, oh, re yeah, great, good caffeine with the alcohol. Three parts sparkling water, a single molecule of MDMA. <laughs> One fourth of a tablespoon of really and a squeeze of garlic salt. Serving big throw. <laughs> of course, best served with side of nacho. <laughs> yeah, you will need some food to. Uh, you will need some. So you you will need some some food to compensate all that booze. Uh, I would drink that. Oh, you know what? I uh, I should uh, make a video where I where I attempt uh, a few of these cocktails with my friends. Uh, that could be really fun. I have a I have a my best friend is of uh, Cambodian descent, and uh, he like he gets drunk so fucking fast. It would be really really funny to have him there. Uh, I have a few. I have a few alcoholic friends. One of them is my neighbor, actually. Uh, she lives very close from uh, where I live. I, I could uh, do that. Uh, I could invite her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. Good idea. We could uh, try some of the cocktail cocktails from Bartender Bot eighteen sixty two. Maybe we could uh, make the people vote for uh, the 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 ones that we should try. For after a long day in the office. Four parts gin. That's a good start. One part Sierra Nevada IPA. Oh no, not IPA. Why are we hipsters? Come on. Nobody drinks IPAs except fucking crusty jugglers and shit. One part gluten-free water. So, okay. I, I can be behind that. Two parts ketchup. That took a turn. One part Lipton lemon iced tea. Oh, love that stuff. One tablespoon of celery salt. Love that too. Serve in box. Best served at 9.51 p.m. specifically. Rage Comic Bot 2010. Do I have to explain? No, it's a bot that makes Rage Comics. Procedurally generated uh, with random panels. And, um, you know, that's it. That's it. Uh, so... My friend who smokes me out. Me. Shots, 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 everybody. I've learned nothing. A comic that sums up pretty well my early 20s and probably yours too. So let's take a look at uh, a couple other ones and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, this is Paintbot version one that, that randomly uh, generates paintings. Or maybe it, it uses Microsoft Paint, not sure, maybe both. Maybe it randomly generates painting using Microsoft Paint. Uh, this one looks kind of like you would see in the hallway of an insurance company or, or stuff like that. A lot of them do, actually. This one looks like the background of an educational computer game from the 90s. Uh, this one, this one looks like, you know, one of these... Uh, 
communist uh, posters. You, it, you just have to put some propaganda in Russian over it, and uh, it would totally look like one from the you know um, USSR. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so you, you see, you see what's it like? A lot of circles, triangles, and uh, rectangles. This one's pretty nice. It looks like uh, one of these uh, uh, disco album covers from the 80s. Oh, Burger Bot 4545. Um, it's one of these uh, recipe bots. There's a lot of them, like sandwich bot, pizza bot, and cocktail bot and shit. This one's uh, this one uh, makes. Uh, take a guess. Can you guess? Can you guess what this one generates? It's burgers! You guessed wrong! That was kind of obvious. Come on, you know? You need to, uh, you need to wake up. You need to get woke. Because uh, that's Fina woke. Uh, bun, fried emu egg. Bun, actually, that's probably really uh, popular in Australia. Bun, octopus, bun. So this one is for Korea. Uh, bun, marijuana. Krabby Patty secret formula. Escargot, dark matter, bun. This one sounds really nice. Uh, I hope they, uh, they have uh, a lot of garlic butter on the escargot. Um, garlic bread, buttered popcorn, garlic bread. Oh yeah, that's what they uh, eat every day in Texas. Garlic naan bread, barley, turkey, garlic naan bread. Yeah, sure. Bun, one Carolina Reaper, French toast, Bun. This burger is then deep fried to a golden crisp. I would eat that. I would eat that. Need more cheese, but like if you if you turn the the, the, the pepper into a popper uh, by adding some, some cheese inside it and then deep fry. It, yeah, I would I totally eat that. Let's go to the next one. Uh, actually, uh, let's go to actually the last one of today's list. It's imposter boat. PMC 2963468 uh, Because this one is a little special It, as you can guess by its name, imitates another bot And uh, it's not, it's, it's like several other bots um, That get merged, like for example this one uh, Takes one bot that uh, randomly generates fake uh, deep uh, captions to put on the uh, uh, vintage photography and sensor bot uh, that we talked about a few minutes ago. So uh, yeah, Inspiro. Oh, Inspiro bot. Inspiro bot is an absolute classic. I've been following it for years. I didn't even know it was on Facebook. I've been following it on I think Tumblr and and Twitter. I didn't know it was on Facebook, but it makes sense. And Instagram too, probably. Um, it's like a gangbang of procedural uh, random generation and it's pretty wild as you can see this is <laughs> Jake Paul versus Todd Hauer <laughs> uh, I can see that happening Jake Paul versus Todd Howard I, I, ha, for who would I vote Jake Paul or Todd Howard. That's a tough choice, man. Um, and then it says, person rowing boat medium light skin tone flags for Indonesia. That's, yeah, that, that, this, there's just, this thing is a wild ride between the emojis, the, the text, the map. <laughs> The labeling of the map uh we've we've it's a whole journey it's a it's a whole fucking journey and this one you know made a cursed word it's not a curse word it's a cursed word and then it uh, censored the face of bootleg bart simpson on a cake you see these this is the high uh, density of shit posting uh, that's what i like in this bot uh, even if it just uses other people's work to make its own, isn't that what we all do? Like musicians use samples and uh, they don't make their own instruments. 
painters have to buy canvases and paint and they all have inspiration same for the writers same for everyone who creates something um, you know as Nietzsche said we are all resting on the shoulders of giants uh, it's a good uh, sentence uh, it's a good quote to finish this uh, video I've recorded two hours of footage I uh, editing this will not be fun but I'm gonna do this because this is my duty. I am an entertainer. I take that very seriously. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna end on this. It's a little pathetic. It's perfect for an end. Thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks to all the bot makers who were featured or not in this video. Thanks to the great Facebook group uh, called Bot Appreciation Society uh, for helping me with finding uh, all this great content. And uh, thanks, of course, to all my patrons on Patreon, uh, on Ko-fi, and on Facebook, uh, who help in a very tangible way, making all this endeavor possible. The meme pages, the YouTube channel, the music, uh, it, uh, your money goes to all of this and also to the rats uh, to buy them good accessories for the cage, food and all that. Your help means the world. And it's appreciated to the full extent. And uh, to finish, I wish on all of you peace, good health, and don't forget to smash that motherfucking like button. See ya.